Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I, was, I was thinking, Chancellor, when you were speaking, uh, I may be the first person that's citywide that came from CUNY, you know, and uh, sitting in citywide city hall, you know, so that's a good look. <laughs> but uh, I remember when the president walked into my office and talked about this, uh, I just knew it was the right thing to do. And it was on the path of what I believe uh, just, uh, it's just so important uh, to get this right in education. Uh, I talk about it all the time going through my public school experience of uh, being bullied, uh, called the D student, the dumb student, uh, crying myself to sleep at night, uh, wondering why I couldn't learn, and eking out a D to get out of Bayside High School and going to a community college, taking a remedial course, sitting in the library and overhearing another student listening to a documentary on learning disabilities. I took out the documentary and looked at it and leaned back in the chair and said, darn it, I have a learning disability. And when I got the help that I needed, I went from a D student to being on the dean's list throughout my college experience. But I was lucky. I was a lucky one. I visited the unlucky ones three weeks ago on Rikers Island. 30% of the prisoners in our country, according to one report, they are dyslexic. 55% have a learning disability at Rikers Island. 48% have mental health issues. 80% don't have a high school diploma or an equivalency diploma. Uh, if we don't educate, we will incarcerate. And what this school is doing here, what this uh, president, uh, who is not only a leader of this institution, but he's just a friend. What he's doing here is he's not thinking outside the box. He's destroying the darn box. And he's forcing the students to start look at new ways of doing things. And you would have thought, when you talked about this project, that the city would have opened the doors and said, hooray, let's bring it here. But no, you had to navigate the dysfunctionality and the bureaucracy that got in the way of progress. I can say it, you can't. <laughs> and that just has to stop. I mean, these visionaries are sprinkled throughout our entire city. And they're stating we can do better. We should be on the cutting edge of cannabis uh, development, what you're doing at Mega Evans College. We should be at the cutting edge of cryptocurrency, the cutting edge of cybersecurity, one of the most demanding programs that we need to build out those who can go about dealing with the cybersecurity threat we're dealing with on an international level. Self-driving cars, drone development, biotech. We should be on the cutting edge of all of these things. This is what and who we are. We're the empire state. This is where you come to build empires. Somehow we just lost that drive. We lost that desire to say, let's not be afraid to fail. That's where we're going. And I'm so proud to partner with an amazing institution to bring together uh, this an amazing attempt. Our students, this large, predominantly black, brown, and immigrant students, are going to be on the cutting edge of this new technology. We should be so excited about this. Because historically, we're just the consumers. We're just outside waiting for others to invent, and then we play a role in that invention. That stops. And so our partnership is just appreciated. We thank you for being smart enough to know that Brooklyn is the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> and so on behalf of all Brooklynites, all students, all those future learners that are going to look at their DNA and look at DNA to see how do we start fighting chronic diseases, 
uh, dealing with some of the important issues that are going to face us in health care, dealing with, dealing with the cancers that we are attempting to fight. All of these great ideas are going to come from this partnership. I'm excited about it. This is a legacy moment. And this great school, my alma mater, I cannot tell you how thankful I am, and I'm sure students of tomorrow are going to share that same feeling of being thanked for having an education here where we develop the full personhood of our students. Thank you very much.